Hey, it's Ken Payne on today's Cool 1055, and in the house, Mr. Charlie Poos. Hey! Yeah! Wow. How you doing, buddy? What a welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. You've been busy. I mm -hmm. see you on Ellen a couple of weeks ago. I definitely was on Ellen. Hanging out with Jennifer Aniston. I'm you know, jealous, that's, man. I mean, that's just every day, I guess. <laughs> You'll be on the Friends reboot, right? Um, I don't know if I'll be on the reboot, but I'll definitely watch it if they decide to do it. <laughs> So you've had a couple of great albums, Nine Track Mind, yeah. uh, Voice Notes, yeah. more of a project that, you know, you've really sunk your heart and soul into. Yeah, definitely. S so many great songs, man. Thanks. T tell me about the creative process. It's I I've seen you write, I've seen videos, and it just kind yeah. of pours out of you. Well, the coolest thing, that I'll start off saying about Voice Notes, the coolest thing is that I got to work with James Taylor on that, which is pretty cool, and Boys Two Men. So it's wow. what's, what's cool about this... Well, if there's any big perk about being an artist is that you get to work with people that you look up to and have looked up to for a long time. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know. My mom showed me Bobby Brown one day, and then I just made a whole album kind of in that vein. Like, that's where attention kind of came from, that, like, not ripping him off, but, like, kind of that, like, little aura of Bobby. So the creative process, it just kind of flows for you? Is that, uh, I mean, you sit down at the piano and... Well, this is what happens. I listen I, I listen to people. I, ne I, I very rarely listen to other pieces of pop music and write um, another piece of music. I talk to people, I have conversations. That's how I wrote We Don't Talk Anymore, is by having a, a conversation with, like, another human, uh, a.k.a. my friend Miles, who was not doing well with his then-girlfriend. Now he's married. That's so crazy. Um, <laughs> and I was... You know, I just asked him a question, how you doing? He said, oh, we don't, we don't, I don't talk to that girl anymore. And like right away, because it's always great when you can take common things that people say and then put melody to them. So when they hear it, they're like, I feel like I've heard this before. So it comes from real, from real life. I mean, yeah. you, and you've got that perfect pitch, yeah, which is amazing too. I saw some of the tests where you, you they tested you on the perfect pitch. Oh my gosh, people get so crazy with that. They, <laughs> they, they, it's like a party trick. So I can't even like sit down or just like relax or have a drink or anything like that without people like Charlie, hit, come over. hitting glasses. But notice like, this, ding, <laughs> which is a G, by the way. Um, it's no, but it's it's uh, the, the the best thing about having perfect pitch is hearing the production in your head before um, it goes into Pro Tools. Um, and kind of like doing like on the spot rearrangements when like when I worked with Katy Perry the, the the Harleys in Hawaii song that she has out right now is in a completely different key originally and then I kind of heard it in my head her singing it and I was like it'd probably be better in B flat minor than D minor so out of all the people you haven't worked with who would you most likely collaborate with hmm um maybe Elton maybe Elton John that'd be cool and uh I don't know. I, I, Elton, do you hear this? I, th I think I, I think he's listening. Can you, he's he's all the way in Atlanta. Um, but I'll, I'll I'm happy to work with anybody. I started out producing hip hop. That's how I got into pop. And uh, I, you know, I so I, of course I I spoke to like a couple. I spoke to Gucci Mane the other day. I love Gucci Mane. Cool. I love I love. Uh, I, I just, it's it's all about kind of like where I came from originally. So cheating on you, mm -hmm. is this about somebody in particular? Um, no, it's more kind of about like that yearn to have that obsessive feeling. It's kind of weird that I'm 27 and have never had that, uh, you know, that feeling of just, you know, that, that yearn for somebody. Um, even though I have, but like I feel like, not, I feel like I should have had more of it, if that makes sense. So that, that song was basically written off a, hype, uh, off a hypothetical of like why have I not had this crazy like not being able to you know checking my phone every five seconds not being able to sleep at night where is where is that feeling why am I almost like 28 and I still haven't felt that yet so I saw an interview where you wrote a song about a turkey what did it, I, in, in Massachusetts they I have a did? turkey roaming around town they mentioned it. Uh, what, did you see that, Johnny? <laughs> and you like came up instantly with lyrics and a tune and the turkey pecking. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, I went like, to. This I, guy's amazing. I How went, does he do this? I went to. Uh, yeah, there was a, that was the most. I described that as the most local news story ever. That was very. <laughs> that was a, what, what was his name like? Frank and uh, Turkey uh, uh, or something. Uh, Limpy. Limpy the turkey. Limpy the turkey. Yeah, that was really. Uh, <laughs> that was a very local story, but I was that was super. Now, now, the only invasive bird we have here is the snowbird. What is the snowbird? They come down from the north 
in the winter time. Oh, and what do they wreak havoc upon? Yeah, they drive slow on the freeway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> they hail from the great state of Vermont, perhaps? Uh, or anywhere up north. <laughs> Pennsylvania? Any, yeah. New Jersey? That was very, yep, for New Jersey. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't, there is a difference between Easy Pass and Snow Pass, or no, Sun Pass, that's what you call it. Snow Pass, that's what they should have, right? That's what they should have, yeah. So is it true you actually went door-to-door selling Christmas albums in the fifth grade? That is true. That is definitely true. And were the sales good? The sales were pretty good for, you know, I think I think they were pretty good. You know, my, I come from a small town, so I think uh, I, I just had, I always wanted to produce an album, and I produced that entire album on the Korg Triton Studio Music Synthesizer. I sequenced all the beats, did all the, put all the, like, the stuff together, and it was pretty. It was pretty righteous. I liked it. It's pretty cool. So, it, it, what's off in the distance for Charlie Puth? What's next? Um, I think a lot of promo, which I'm happy about because I get to see my best friend Johnny, and uh, you heard him. You heard him. He's in the background. Um, you know, we may, I, I pretty much make a song every day. So I think uh, I'll just I'll just continue doing that. We we want you to stay healthy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you gonna, you had I'm, a couple of scares. I, I read somewhere where it said you almost died twice on tour. Yeah, I definitely did. I wow. definitely did do that just because, you know, when I wrote See You Again, uh, I, I expected that it was going to be for like Sam Smith or Adele or someone. I didn't expect that I would ultimately sing that record. So I had no idea what it was like to, uh, to be an artist. And I had millions of people watching me uh, as I figured it out. So I didn't sleep. Um, you know, I'm a one-man band. I'm producing all these records. I'm mixing these records too. So I really was. I was getting like at most two or three hours of sleep at night, which is not good. For, not uh, the best. Not for the health. Best. No, not the best. I much prefer the normal eight or seven or five. <laughs> You're young, sleep schmeep. Yeah, six years. Six. Uh, six hours is good. Sufficient. Well, it's great to have you here. We appreciate you coming in and uh, wish you the best of luck Absolutely. as you, uh, you know, do that Friends reboot. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely, I'll, <laughs> let, I'll let you in on that. I'll put you, I'll cast you as an extra. There it is. I'll just be in the background, just hanging out. Yeah, you know, remember Gunther? He's like, he'll be, yeah, you can be, you can be <laughs> right. alongside Gunther as like Gunther 2 or yeah. Gunther 3. Who is that guy? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. All right, Charlie, thanks for talking to us. Thank you, and nice microphone. This is a good one. Will, you can take it with you. Okay, mine. No, I'm just kidding, Ashley. <laughs> That's me taking it. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. Thanks.